If you've ever had a boss tell you, I don't care if you want this job, somebody else will want it, this book is for you. Keep watching to find out what book we're talking about today. Hey, it's Kyla Denanio and you're watching Kyla's Reading Day. Today we are talking about the book, A Hundred Other Girls. The author of the book is Iman Harari Kia. The genre of the book is fiction. The theme of the book is literature. So this book was so much fun to read. It is about someone who gets a job in a big city, big office, big flashy glam, all of the stuff. And can they live up to it? Can they fulfill everything that they want to do? My favorite thing about 100 Other Girls is the plot twist. To me, that was a big deal. Listen. She gets this job, she sees this handsome, handsome man. And she's like, wow, he's wearing an HBCU sweatshirt, which stands for Historically Black College and University. He's wearing this, oh man, look at him, wow, 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 I can never be with that. But then she ends up dating him. And he's a villain. He's a villain to her heart. He's a villain because he wants a situationship. He's a villain because he puts himself first and he has no issue with it. I used you, I will use them, I'll use them, I will use anybody to make sure that I can do the stuff I wanna do. And so you gotta, you don't gotta respect it, but I really respected it. I was not expecting that in the book. And the reason why it was so important to me is because the main character, Nora, you're like, okay, she has this tough job. She has this demanding boss. She really, you know, she has a blog on the side where she's doing her own thing, but it's like she's giving her time freely to this company. Let her fall in love. Everything else is so hard. Let her fall in love. No, it's not gonna happen. There are a hundred other girls that could take that job. There are a hundred other girls that the love interest could date, okay? I wasn't expecting it, I was not. <laughs> and trust me, that does not give away the entire story. I guess it will be a coming of age type of story. And I really enjoyed reading about Nora. Even though her homeboy had on an HBCU sweatshirt, I went to an HBCU for law school. It kind of broke my heart a little bit, but you know what? Villains are anywhere, villains are everywhere. <laughs> and to me, he was a villain in the story. Who knows what the author expected him to be. And when you read the book, you may not think that he's a villain, right? So that's the point of reading. That's the point of us seeing different perspectives and getting our eyes on something, okay? Would I reread the book? Yes. I would reread it because it really was light. It really was cute. It really was something that was like, a hundred other girls, how rude is that? You could be a hundred other girls, right? But the story was really compelling. So yes, I definitely would reread the book. Yep. So please let me know. If you've had a boss who's ever told you a hundred other girls could do your job, get in the comments. Let me know how you feel about that. Let me know if you've read this book or if you're interested in picking it up, right? Let me know if this review has made you be like, I might want to read that. I want to see if my perspective will be completely different than Kyla's. Okay? So thank you for hanging out with me today. Please like this video. That really does help YouTube share it with more people. And I will see you next time on Kyla's Reading Day. Bye.